Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm going to be covering the Care Credit Quick Screen feature within Blueprint OMS. Now, Care Credit is a health, wellness, and personal care credit card that helps patients get the care they want and need without delaying appointments or treatment. Now, with pre screening with Care Credit or Quick Screen, clinics can effortlessly see if their patients are pre approved for patient financing according to appointment type. Users can request a patient pre-approval when necessary, or Blueprint OMS will send pre-approval requests for newly created appointments on a nightly basis. This functionality includes intuitive icons and notifications within Blueprint OMS, granting users immediate insight into their patient's pre-approval status. The aim is to empower you to determine if your patients are pre-approved for the Care Credit credit card before they apply allowing you to confidently discuss their available financing options, which can help ease cost concerns. All right, before we get started and make changes within the system, I did want to note that in order to make any edits to your care credit options, users are going to need the maintain care credit config privilege. Now to make adjustments to care credit, we need to go into the setup menu. Once in the setup menu, we need to go to our care credit category. And once here, this is where we're going to enable quick screen. Now, quick screen is going to be disabled by default. So once we enable this, a pop up is going to appear. Now, there's two components to this pop up. The first is the pre approval period. Uh, the default for pre approval is seven days. And this means that Blueprint OMS is going to be checking seven days out in advance for any appointment or event types that match this second component here. Now you can adjust this to a time frame that meets your practice's needs, so no worry. But just note that it can only be a max of 60 days. Uh, again, the second component of this pop-up is which event types are going to be checked for pre-approval. Uh, you can go ahead and do a massive or in bulk check of these event types. And once you've gone through and decided which events need to be checked for pre-approval, go ahead and hit the update button here. If you would ever want to change which event types are going to be checked for quick screen, uh, you can edit this a few ways. You can hit the edit quick screen option up at the top here and go ahead and check those or check them off. Or the second way is uh, going to the scheduling category within Blueprint Setup and then going to event types and click, right clicking on a particular event type here. You can go ahead and select edit details and down at the bottom, we have the quick screen enabled checkbox. So if you'd like to check that particular event type off, just go ahead and select it and hit update. You can see there is a new logo or icon next to, under the settings section here. Now, Blueprint is going to be checking for pre-approvals two different ways. The first way is going to be automatic. Uh, Blueprint OMS will gather patient information on newly created appointments nightly, and that's going to be transmitted to Care Credit for pre-approval. Every morning, you're going to be able to log into Blueprint OMS, and you're going to see additional Care Credit icons for more appointments. Appointments that were scheduled and fit for your selected date range, and then fit for your selected event types with no additional work on your part. The other way is going to be manual. Users can manually request a quick screen by right clicking on the patient's appointment and selecting request quick screen. The other way that you can request the quick screen is going into the patient browser, opening up a patient file or having that patient file highlighted. Let me go ahead and just select this patient here. And we can go up to the patient dropdown and we can request the quick screen from here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead back to our scheduling tab and I just wanted to go over the view icons that you see on the scheduling tab. Uh, the first icon is going to be the blue care credit logo. This means that the patient is a current care credit card holder. If you hover over the patient's appointment, down in the lower left-hand corner 
in this first white cell, you can see the quick screen results, which shows that this patient is a card holder. And you can also see their credit limit there as well. The second icon is going to be the green care credit icon. Now this means that this patient has been pre-approved for a line of credit. And similar to the card holder, down in the lower left hand corner in this first white cell, you can see the status which is pre-approved and you can see the amount that they are pre-approved for. The third icon is going to be this orange triangle. Um, this is just meaning that the patient has been deferred and we need to uh, we need a little bit more information from this patient in order to move forward with their uh, st application status. Now, this doesn't mean that the patient has been declined. It just means that there's information missing. All right, we're going to go ahead and right click on our pre-approval patient here and we're going to head over to their patient the patient details. In our patient's summary screen here, I can see the patient's pre-approval status from here. If I hover over it, very similar to our scheduling tab, you can see that they're pre-approved status and the amount that they're pre-approved for. Now we can also go ahead and click on this to approve or decline their pre-approval application. Now once we click on that, or if we go to request a quick screen, if we want to click to accept and decline, this is going to take us out to Care Credit's website. Now once here, you're going to be able to see for a patient that has been pre-approved, we can actually take action on this offer right from this screen. So we can actually accept the offer, we can decline the offer, or if you want, you can actually send that application to the patient by selecting send offer to customer. Once this option is selected, it will ask if you would like to send the application by text message or send it by email. You can see that some of the information here does auto populate. So if I wanted to accept this application, any information that is currently within Blueprint is actually going to auto populate into the patient's application. Now, since this is a testing website, um, I can just show you here, there is that information that auto populates. And since this is a testing website, this patient's application is not going to be approved. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, exit out of that application. Now, the last thing I wanted to cover is the reports that you can generate with the quick screen. If you go to the patient dropdown, uh, and I do want to note that you do need to be on a patient file or within the patient browser and have a patient selected. If you go to the patient dropdown menu here, there is a launch care credit report section. Once I select this, it's going to take me back to care credits website where you're going to be able to see the different reports that Care Credit has to offer. We have recent applications, recent purchase transactions, the pending patient client activity, and our quick screen report. Uh, again, this is a testing website, so there's not uh, any data within here. But if you would like, you can reach out to our Care Credit contact and you can learn a little bit more from them. All right. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you have a great day. And if you would like, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Care Credit or you can reach out to our support team here as well. Thank you. Have a great day.